It's time to get fast and furious for the seventh time. Whoa! Ow! Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Furious 7. So Furious 7 is directed by James Wan, and it stars Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, Dwayne Johnson, Michelle Rodriguez, Tyrese Gibson, Ludacris, Kurt Russell, Ronda Rousey, and Jason Statham. So the film is about the crew facing the tragic loss of one of their friends, and Jason Statham, who plays the character Deckard Shaw, who is the brother of Owen Shaw from Fast and Furious 6, he is out to get revenge on Dominic Toretto and the team because of what they did to Owen Shaw in the previous installment. So it's up to Dominic Toretto and the rest of the team to team up with Kurt Russell and stop Deckard Shaw's evil plan. Now going into Furious 7, I was pumped to see this movie because, you know, there was a time where I didn't care about the franchise, but then Fast Five came along and I just became a fan of this franchise from there. You know, the first two movies, they were okay. First one was pretty entertaining. I thought it was pretty decent for what it was. Second one was, you know, was plain mediocre, but I just thought it was okay. Then the third one came along and I thought that was terrible. The fourth one came along. I thought that was terrible too, and I pretty much lost hope. And then Fast Five, one of the best movies of 2011, and one of the best action movies of this decade came along. And Fast and Furious 6 came along, I thought that was awesome too. Not as good as Fast Five, but it was still a very awesome installment. And so, with Furious 7, I was hoping for it to be a very awesome installment like 5 and 6. And that's what Furious 7 definitely is because I had a great time just watching Furious 7. I thought Furious 7 does a very nice job of continuing to deliver that trend of being completely over the top. But just so much fun to watch at the same time. Most of the performances in this movie are very good. Vin Diesel is really good. Dwayne Johnson is very good, although not in this movie that much, but he does do a really good job. Same with Paul Walker, Michelle Rodriguez, Ludacris, Tyrese Gibson. I thought they did a really good job, as well as Kurt Russell. And I also did think Jason Statham, for what he's given, he does do a very good job as Deckard Shaw. And it's just very cool to see Jason Statham be in this Fast and Furious installment because since he is known for being the badass action guy, I think this is a role that really suits him. You could just tell watching this movie that all of the actors were having the time of their lives just filming this movie. And they really do feel like they are a family at this point. It's always nice to see when and actors can have a nice relationship on screen and off screen. Most of the action scenes are very well filmed. The best action scene in this entire movie, however, is the action scene where you see Dominic and the team just jump off the plane with the cars, where they're chasing after the big buzz with the guns. It was a major action sequence, but it never wasted its length. From start to finish, this one entire action sequence had me at the edge of my seat. I was having a blast. It gave me that fast fight feeling because the adrenaline just never ever stopped. It kept going and going. And it is, in my opinion, the best filmed action sequence in Furious 7 too. It was just so awesome and I loved every moment of that entire scene. It is very well filmed thanks to James Wan who I do think does do a very good job directing Furious 7. This guy just shows he's not just a horror dude. He can create action. The movie does have a very good cinematography. The writing and the storyline is very entertaining. It's a simple premise but how they handled it was very interesting. I definitely think in terms of action, this movie really raised the stakes. And then of course, because we faced the tragic loss of Paul Walker back in November 2013, we do get a nice little tribute to Paul Walker at the end of this movie. And apparently his brother stepped in to film the rest of Paul Walker's action sequences after he tragically passed away. It would digitally 
put Paul Walker's face into the brother. I do think digital CGI Paul Walker is a little bit noticeable, but I still saw Paul Walker in his form. And I gotta give huge respect to the writers because this is not something easy to do. You had to really think hard how you're gonna do this ending. You had to do the ending that was gonna be respectful. You had to try to come up with the ending that this actor and character, Brian O'Connor, really deserved. And writers, fantastic job. I cannot praise the writers enough for what they did to the ending of Furious 7. It was the best ending they could possibly come up with. It was beautiful. I almost wanted to cry. I almost teared up because it was just so beautiful. And it was a great way for us to say goodbye to the character Brian O'Connor, but at the same time say goodbye to Paul Walker. But now I do have to talk about my problems with Furious 7. Jason Statham is really good in this movie, but he just felt like one of those characters that was in and out, and I felt like his character wasn't as explored as they could have been. I was also disappointed in the fact that Dwayne Johnson as Hobbs was extremely underused in this movie. Ronda Rousey was also in this movie, but she's in this movie for three to four minutes, so I'm sure that'll disappoint fans. She was terrible. I thought the few lines she had was god awful, and her screen presence was really cringeworthy. Due to the fact that there were some rewrites to the storyline, the storyline does feel like a little bit of a mess. In terms of the hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes, I thought that was a hit and miss thing. There were times where the hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes were very well filmed, but there were other times where they were poorly filmed. Sometimes they do look good, like when someone falls down and the camera would turn over, that looked impressive as hell. And he does do that quite often when those scenes are going on, and those are the best part about the scenes. But sometimes it does kind of cut a little bit too quickly, and I felt like, really, those are the action moments that could have used more work. And I didn't really care for Dominic and Letty's little plot because you know Letty is still trying to get back her memory from the Fast and Furious 6. I do like their chemistry but I felt like the overall plot line just didn't really work that well. With all that being said Furious 7 is so awesome. I really had a fun time watching this movie. It's a great theater experience. I don't think it's as good as Fast Five. Fast Five is still my favorite in the franchise and it's not as good as Fast and Furious 6 either. But it is still a very awesome movie. So I am going to give Furious 7 three out of four stars. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of Furious 7? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!